Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum and Bitcoin have both confirmed a break to the downside, which sets up new bearish price targets that I'll talk about in just a moment, so definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the daily Bitcoin to US dollar chart, and right now, as of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is breaking below $27,000. And now, technically speaking, on the daily time frame, we still need to see a daily candle close below $27,000 in order to actually confirm this break on the daily chart. But considering the fact that this break to the downside at below $27,000 is confirmed on the 12-hour chart and the 8-hour chart, it's it's looking likely that this will soon be officially confirmed here on the daily time frame. And once again, as I've been warning almost every day over the last one week or so, I've been saying if we confirm a break below 27,000, then we would likely see a further drop to the downside into this price range, which is in between around 24,000 to 25,000. More specifically, this price range starts at around 253 k based on this previous high now acting as support. And obviously, as I also mentioned in my last video on the channel, this daily Bitcoin RSI and daily Bitcoin MACD are starting to flip more bearish. Because first of all, over the last few weeks, I've been very neutral, expecting mostly sideways price action on the daily time frame. But just over the last one day, this daily Bitcoin RSI is now beginning to form lower lows. Once again, as I mentioned, in my last video, while the daily Bitcoin MACD is beginning to build up a little bit more bearish momentum, which is basically pointing towards some sort of pullback playing out in the price of Bitcoin. And once again, in my last video, I also compared this stage in the market to what we saw back here, where technically speaking, we might still be within a larger bullish trend on the daily time frame, but at least for now, we're expected to see a pullback within this trend. And if you measure the size of this pullback that we saw throughout this bullish trend back during around February, March this year, that was around a 22% pullback from the local high down to that bottom before the bullish trend continued later on over the next few weeks and months. And if you measure out the same sized pullback from this high at around $31,000, a 22% pullback would place the price of Bitcoin at around 24.1k to 24.2k approximately. So obviously that falls right around the low end of this price range in between 24 to 25,000, which once again, as I've been saying recently on the channel, is the next expected move here on the daily time frame. now that we are seeing a break below 27,000. But obviously considering the fact that we saw that 22% movement to the downside in the price of Bitcoin back during February and March, before continuing the trend later on, even if we do see this expected pullback down towards around 24 to 25,000, for as long as that area of support holds as support, it's technically still possible we could continue this larger bullish trend later on, perhaps in a few weeks or months from now. But anyway, if you're looking at the eight hour Bitcoin to US dollar chart, obviously over the last one day, we have finally seen a confirmed break to the downside below this ascending line of support, which was sitting at around 27.4K. And so far, this break to the downside has already been confirmed by three separate eight-hour candle closes. And so at this point, this break to the downside would only be invalidated if we see some sort of failed retest. So for example, if the price breaks back above around 27.4K, then in that case, technically that would invalidate the price target and break to the downsides. But at least as of right now, we do have three separate confirmations in the form of those three eight hour candle closes below support. And as for the technical price targets, obviously this has not changed over the last few days. So once again, as I've been warning about over the last few days, if the price of Bitcoin breaks this support line, then that would set up a technical price target at around 24.1K. And obviously that also perfectly falls 
falls into this price range of support, which I also talked about in my last video, which simply means this pullback down towards that area is simply becoming more and more likely now that we're seeing this price target in play. And so far, anyone who took this trade from the first confirmation of the break to the downside with this first eight hour candle close below 27.4K in a short position, that would be a 3% profit with no leverage. But if, for example, you had a 10X leverage short position, this would already be a 30% profit. And even from where the Bitcoin price is right now, as of recording this video, to that technical price target, if this pattern completes, that's still another around an 8 to 9% drop to the downside, which, for example, on a 10X leverage would be around an 80 to 90% profit in a short position. Now, it is important to mention that that is not personal financial advice. That's just letting you know that you can make a lot of profit even during bearish price action. And if you want to know where to long or short Bitcoin and many other cryptos right now over on Bybit, they are offering a large deposit bonus up to 30,000 USDT if you use the link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. And also for simple things such as completing KYC over on Bybit, you can get yourself a 20 USDT bonus, which you can then use to trade Bitcoin or any other crypto on Bybit in long positions or short positions. And so once again, if you want to claim any of this massive bonus, which by the way is available only for a limited time when you make your account, or simply if you want to trade crypto and make profit even in bearish price action, then I'll leave a link to Bybit in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. But anyway, zooming into the short term, this is on the four hour Bitcoin to US dollar chart. And right now, as of recording this video, the Bitcoin price is potentially forming a bullish divergence pattern because obviously we have lower lows in the price of Bitcoin in the four hour candle closes. But while this is happening, we have higher lows forming in the four hour Bitcoin RSI. So obviously this is a bullish divergence, but ideally this still needs to be confirmed with this four hour candle close in the green, which means two four hour candle closes in the green, because we've already seen one four hour candle close in the green already. And so if we simply see this extra confirmation confirming this short term bullish divergence, I would expect a little bit of a pause from this bearish price action, meaning we're likely going to see a small amount of sideways price action, or perhaps a slight bounce in the imminent short term. But even in that case, it is important and to mention that this technical price target to the downside is still currently active. So for example, here on the eight hour chart, if that bullish divergence confirms on the four hour chart, it could look something like this, where we see perhaps a slight recovery or pause from the bearish price action in the short term before a continued move to the downside. Because obviously on the eight hour chart, we are looking bearish now with this break to the downsides, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to see 100% bearish price action and zero bullish price action because obviously even during a bearish trend we can see short-term bullish price action from time to time just like how in a bullish trend we can see some short-term bearish price action from time to time but anyway now getting into the ethereum part of this video this is on the daily eth to us dollar chart and right now as of recording this video the price of eth is still running into this area of support in between around 17 1870 to 1820. And so obviously, as of right now, we are still yet to see a confirmed break below 1770 with a daily candle close. But as I've also mentioned recently on the channel, even if we do see a confirmed break below 1770 with a daily candle close below that level, then we also have this lower area of support in between around 1650 to 1.7K. And as I also warned about in my last video on the channel, this daily Ethereum, RSI, and MACD are starting to flip a little bit more bearish because as of right now, obviously, we're starting to see new lower lows in the daily Ethereum, RSI, while the daily Ethereum, MACD is gaining in bearish momentum, as I also warned in my last video. But if you're looking at the last time this happened, this also happened throughout this same bullish trend here on the daily time frame, because obviously, this happened back during around February to March. And once again, what we saw back then 
was simply a large pullback during a larger bullish trend. And if you're measuring the size of that pullback from the local high at that time down to the bottom of that pullback, that was around a 22% move to the downside for the price of ETH as well as Bitcoin. And if you measure a 22% move to the downside from this local high at around 2.1K approximately, that would put us right at around 1650 to 1.7K right into this area of support. So once again, like I've been saying over and over again recently on the channel, we're likely going to see some sort of movement like that sometime soon, but this could still occur within a larger bullish trend if we're still forming these larger, higher lows and higher highs here on the daily time frame. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, obviously here on the smaller time frames, we are simply looking bearish at the moment. And now I did mention in my last video that we were possibly forming a bullish divergence in the short term for the price of ETH. But as I mentioned, that bullish divergence was not yet confirmed. And so obviously because that bullish divergence failed the confirmation and we continued another move to the downside in this RSI forming a lower low, this essentially meant that that four hour bullish divergence never actually confirmed at all. And we simply continued on with that bearish trend that I've been talking about since all the way up here. If you're talking about the short term trend and momentum. And obviously what we've also seen over the last one day for the price of ETH in the short term is a confirmed break below around 1810, which was this line of support, which once again means that we were likely due to see a drop down towards this area of support in between around 1.7K to around 1730. And so far, the price of ETH has gotten within just a few dollars of this support line. And now it's worth pointing out that the four hour Ethereum RSI recently entered into oversold territories, meaning that we have somewhat limited room to the downside in the imminent short term, and that we're due to see a little bit of a reset in the short term, meaning we're most likely going to see a small amount of sideways price action or a slight bounce here. But this is to simply reset the RSI to potentially give us some more room to the downside later on, because I would only start to flip more bullish again in terms of the trend and momentum if we start to see more bullish confirmation signals here in the RSI, for example, forming higher lows and higher highs like we saw back here, or if we start to see confirmed bullish divergences or breaks back above these importance levels, which were previous support and should now be acting as new resistance. Of course, if we see a breakout back above these levels, then that would be a bullish confirmation signal. But as of right now, we are not seeing that. So at least for now, we're due to see a bit of sideways price action or a slight bounce due to those oversold territories needing a reset. But overall, in terms of the trend and momentum on the smaller timeframes, obviously I'm still leaning more bearish. And once again, as for resistance, we have this level at around 1810, which should now be acting as resistance. And above that, we have this price range in between around 1830 to 1850, also should be acting as resistance. And now if you want to know how to make a lot of money in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the downside, to the upside, or simply chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left of your screen shows you how to make money if the price is going either up or down. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.